You've proven that you're as accomplished as any Vulcan, which is gonna serve you well. That's Michael Burnham. The mutineer! And the flesh. She has worked her whole life for this. She's excelled. She graduated at the top of her class. Her test scores are better than any Vulcan. Acceptance with honors is her due. I have created in her a being of exquisite logic to rival the best of our species. Michael Burnham, the Michael Burnham on my ship. I'd say you're too confident for your own good, but I've seen your record. As I have seen yours. And your confidence is justified. What do you have, Saru? Recalibrating sensors. I'm having trouble locating the source. Recalibrating. Any time now, Mr. Saru. I'm unable to bring it into focus. Number one? Range is 2,000 kilometers. Number one, you sailed with Burnham aboard the Senjo. What is your assessment of her abilities? She is the smartest Starfleet officer I have ever known. And he knows you. Is the Xeno anthropologist? I also study quantum mechanics at the Vulcan Science Academy, sir. I know. As science specialist, I'm the most qualified to handle the needs of this creature. Unless this is about me. When you asked me to stay, it was to help you win this war. Given the time I spent on that Klingon vessel, I'm the most qualified crew member to place those sensors. Two more laps before breakfast. I've done ten! You still need to shave 6.5 seconds off of your time. Your new time will earn you a physical endurance commendation. After that first officer track, see your path, stay on it, reach your destination. Cadet to captain. <laughs> You're not welcome here. You called me here. Your Katra pulled me. This is my mind. Stay out. You're near death. I can help you like you helped me. I can save you, Zarek. But you have to let me into your mind. You had faith in me once. I'm asking you to have faith in me again. I never lost faith in you. If you are to capture me, then prove your worth. And neither is this. Tiny male brains. I've got this. You can't rely on sensors. Don't question my calculations. Just relax and let me do it. The bayonet joint on this oxygen sensor is wide open. Are you trying to kill her? Oh, shit. Get off the assembly. I got it. Sorry, Commander. Tiny male brains. There is a god, and she's very, very mad at you right now. Any other suggestions? I believe that we should... I was asking Captain Giorgio. I got it. I, I, I think it's broken. It's broken. Oh. Yeah. Thank you for uh, fixing it. it. It was broken. Tiny male brains. I just don't think you're the right fit for the kind of work we're doing here, so I've requested to have you transferred. Captain, but... This conversation's over. You're dismissed. Right, but... This is the end of the conversation. Captain, if I could... You can't. Right, but I, this has... The a... conversation's over. I'm having you transferred. End of conversation. It would be... The conversation is over. Tiny male brains. And I think it was just the four of us. I thought to myself, I believe this is the first time four women have sat around and decided what the future of Star Trek was with nobody else in the room. You know, it was only a couple centuries ago that the Earth nearly choked to death on pollution. Then we all woke up. What's wrong? Have you been crying? What's wrong? Have you been crying? And I need you both to know. I'll carry it everywhere I go. What's wrong? Have you been crying?